everyone, it's Amanda here and today I'm going to share with you a few items that I picked up from Sephora. These are items that I've been picking up within the last few weeks, so it's not all at one shot. But these are pieces that I think are not only great for you to check out, but that may be also good gifts that you can give to one of your friends, family members, loved ones for Christmas and the holiday season. So, and I actually think I have, yeah, all these items are from... Sephora, that you can find them at Sephora. So the first item that I picked up, and I think this is a holiday gift set that I picked up at Sephora. I love going, usually when I do buy um, makeup, I usually like to wait for the VIB um, sale. Usually that's if you purchase a lot of stuff at Sephora, then they would give you a discount at certain times of, out of the year. But these are items that, um, so usually when I shop at that time, I get good items but I normally try to wait for the holiday season just because most brands do come out with items that are gift sets that they put all of their best products for the, throughout the year they put it all in one package so these are great things that you can give away and those are th that's around the time that I shop for things for myself so um, the first item that I picked up I don't know if this was a holiday set that was made on purpose from NARS for the holiday season or if it was just a collaboration that they had with Stephen Klein but this is one of the items that I picked up that I think it's a great gift for yourself or for a loved one so this one here I already own um, the Laguna um, bronzer as well as the orgasm um, blush so any gift sets from NARS I hate any gift sets from NARS, I hate to purchase with items that I already have. So this one here was really cool because it has different colors that I don't normally have. So I'm sure that if you guys do like the NARS brand, you probably already bought NARS blush and the Laguna. And there's another one that I think it's also popular and that most people usually like to buy. But I was really excited to try this one out. And this one actually let me see i'm going to flip it over so that way you guys don't get the camera blinded by the camera but this one here has um let me see here so you have the highlighter color up here you have these are all blush um actually all four on the bottom are blush you have the bronzer as well as the contour color and i'll take as the colors so this one here is paloma this one oh actually hold on a second yes and laguna and then you have, um, okay, so this is the, that's the Laguna bronzer. Then you have the Paloma um, blush. You have the Robotic, Blasphemy, Luster, and Dolce Vita. Those are all blush colors. And these are all different colors that you normally can either buy individually or you can get in a gift set. So this was actually great. Um, I was really excited to buy this one. And I think I highly recommend this one for you guys. To pick up either for yourself or for a loved one. I also found out that brands like um, Tarte and Too Faced, they do holiday gift sets, but they do it, I guess they do two sets of gift sets. So they'll do one that they'll launch in the beginning, like maybe around Thanksgiving, and then after, like right before the holidays, they launch a new collection. Um, I'm not sure all the brands do that, but I know most of them. You guys probably hear little noises on the background. It is Penelope playing with her little balls and she's entertained. So if you guys hear that, just ignore. The next item that I picked up that I was so excited about, and I know that it may be a little bit too much because it comes with a lot of stuff, but this one here was a Too Faced. Um, this was also a holiday set. And this is the Le, Le Grand Chateau. And this is not only is it adorable, but it opens up here, and then you have, I'm sorry, this is supposed to be, and then you have three different sets of eyeshadows, and I'll show you guys individually what they look like, and then you also, it also comes with a better than sex um, mascara. I'm not a fan of this mascara. I actually love the way it applies. I love the way it makes your eyelashes not only look full, but it also um, adds a lot of volume. The only thing I don't like is that it does tend to, I guess like as you wear it, it does tend to kind of run down your face. And I hate that just because I do apply mascara very early in the morning. It's 
especially to go to work. And by the time that I come home, my eyes are, I have mascara. By lunchtime, I have mascara all under. So it's not something that it's good for me personally. But if you want something for the next two to three hours, you want something that's gonna um, elongate your eyelashes and it's going to give volume as well as make them very, they become very fluttery, which is really pretty, but it just, you can't wear it for a long period of time. So it's not long lasting and I don't, I personally don't like that. So then the package comes with three sets and these are great, They're, I'll tell you why I love these. If you have, um, like let's say I have two sisters, so this would be great because I can do one, keep one and then give them one each. And then I think that's why they are purposely um, packaged separately is for that reason because in the back you have to and from so you can separate it and give it out to all your friends, loved ones or sisters, whatever like me. And then they're all different colors. So this one here you have the, you have the bronzer on the bottom and then you have all eyeshadows. I've already tried this set here and actually the pigmentation for them is really good. And when something is created like with a mass production, like usually the pigmentation is not that good. But if you can see, I hope you guys can see this. I think it's beautiful. And um, it does come out very nicely. So I personally love this one. My The one that I've worn a few times that I love is this one just because the colors are just beautiful and it matches really well with um, the items that I have been wearing this season. So you have a, you have the blush here and then you have sets of eyeshadows here. You have the dark ones and then you have the highlighting one. So this is also a really nice one. And so they're great because you have a cool tone, you have a warm tone and then you have a more neutral tone. And then this one you have the pink one, a pink blush, a more pink blush. The other one was a little bit more um, I would say like orangey, more, um, I don't know, I think it would look great if you have a tan. So this one is a little bit, but I think this is probably better for fall, just because it adds a little bit of a healthier glow to your face. So it has like a more pink tone, and then you also have the eyeshadows, which are great for the holidays. So this is it. Let me show you all three side by side. If I can hold it. So these are two. And then the third one. So then the next item that I picked up at Sephora was, if you guys have been following my vlogs, I've been doing a Christmas vlogmas. So every day at, I think I go, I post them usually by like seven o'clock, eight o'clock, you should see a, a vlog, a daily vlog for me and also with my family. But I've been using this palette a lot. So if you've been following my vlog, you probably see it that I've been using it. I've done a few um, Get Ready With Me. And I, this is one of the palettes that I reach for the most. Just because the colors are just so pretty. And they're perfect for daily use. These are very matte colors. So you don't have any shimmer on them. So that's why I think it's perfect for daily use. That's what I'm wearing today. And... Um, you have you have from the light tone, the light lighter colors to the dark colors. So you have like perfect for highlighting, um, as well as for your um, to kind of contour your eyelid to give yourself a little bit more of a I guess like a more contoured um, eye. And then you have the dark one, so you can use it to dip your um, brush into like a water and just apply these and create like some eyeliners and they're beautiful this one is one of my favorite colors i haven't used it yet but i've played with it and i'm obsessed with it so this is a great gift okay so i had heard a lot about this brush which is the tarte high performing um airbrush finish bamboo what is it foundation brush and I have heard, I've always used my beauty blender to apply my foundation and my concealer, but somebody told me to try this blush, this brush, and I picked it up and I am so happy I did because it applies your makeup so flawlessly, your foundation goes on so evenly, um, highly recommend. When I when I bought it at home for the first time, I looked at it and I was like, maybe this is just a waste of money. But no, this is like, I think everybody should have this brush. And it kind of buffs in your skin very well. And it blends, like the bristles are very soft. 
so it does really good um it adds a really nice color to your to your skin it applies evenly and it goes flawlessly i highly recommend it's a double-sided brush this is great for me because i do apply my makeup in the car on the way to work and so this takes the place of two brushes into one so you do have two sides one side is great for you to apply to pack in really well your eyeshadow i normally don't do that i usually just use this side and i just kind of carve my crease just creating a little bit more of a i guess like i shape my eyes a little bit better so that way i look more feminine i love doing a more like a cat eye with my um with my um crease and my eyeshadow so i usually just blend 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 and i just usually blend up so it kind of creates like a more elongated eye so this is this brush is amazing i picked it up just wanting to try it and i'm just ex super excited and super happy that i did i don't regret it um the next item that i picked up that i and this is what i wanted to share with you guys because i don't know i had heard a lot about this um this little towel and a makeup remover and I figured that it would be great um, to try and it would be a great item to have just because I don't remove my makeup with makeup wipes I usually just wipe my makeup because usually when I get home from work or let's, let's say I get home from going out or whatever I normally jump in the shower and take off my makeup in the shower so I picked up this little towel which is called the makeup eraser and it says it removes your makeup with just water the way to use this the on if you read the instructions it says you have to wash it first so i did that i washed this front first and then i started trying it and i don't know i think my life would have been just fine if i didn't have this um doesn't do anything for me but i think this probably for traveling might be great if i guess if you have to do your makeup a few times during the day it might be easy just if you're not going to jump in the shower to just wipe it with this. Um, so I'm giving it a few more tries, but this is called the Makeup Eraser. Um, like I said, I recommend it if you want to try it. I personally think that I wouldn't, we would have been just fine without it. So I don't know. I, I won't return it because I've already used it. I've already washed it. But um, I wanted to share with you guys just to tell you guys what my thoughts were on this makeup eraser but i i love the packaging i think it's so cute it looks like it reminds me of like school. when you're in school and look how cute and it looks like an eraser and it does remove your makeup but i feel like it doesn't i still need to do more after this so only if i use this i need to still go in there with like um soap and still rinse my face so i don't know if like i said i, I think i would have been just fine without that the next item that I picked up was the, I was in the market looking for a really good foundation. I wanted something that would go um, go on very naturally and that would obviously blend with my skin very well, my skin tone, since we are entering winter because we were in fall. I haven't been going to the, gym, to, the, to the beach. So I wanted something that would blend with my skin very well. So at that point, while I'm trying to find any foundation, uh, trying to buy a foundation, I decided to pick this one up to try it out. This one is the Born This Way by Too Faced. And I had heard great things from this foundation, except that I've already tried twice. And I don't know, I still haven't made a complete, um, I don't know my thoughts are not complete on this foundation so I have to give it a try a few more tries before I can tell you exactly how I feel but I picked this one up I had heard great things about it I was hoping that once I put it on for the first time I would love it and that's not how I feel just yet the next item that I picked up and I can tell you I picked up oh maybe two weeks after this one so the fact that I went back to find another foundation that gives me the idea that maybe that foundation that I picked up was not the one so but i still want this one has a i always say like this the born this way foundation has a bit more coverage than the next one that i picked up and maybe that's what i'm thinking of maybe what i was looking for is something more lightweight so i'm waiting for an event or something that i want to have like a full makeup on and maybe i'll try this one again and see how i really feel but for the meantime and this one says it's oil free um I, i'm just gonna do 
I have to try this one one more time before. But then I picked up this one, which is the new Makeup Forever Ultra High Definition Foundation. And then just so you guys know, my color is 127. And love this. Love, love, love this. I actually, my favorite foundation that I have at this point, and I've tried so many because I love to try new foundations. I love to try new concealers. I always want to know what else is out there. And out of all the foundations that I've tried, the Makeup Forever Foundation, which I, I thought the high definition one, the HD, was my favorite one until I picked up this one. And this one here is amazing. This goes on so smooth. It um, blends again very well. And I think you look like you have nothing on, yet it does give you some coverage. But it's not, it's buildable, but it's not full coverage. So, but I still like it. And this is the one, if you guys want to see the packaging, love. Highly recommend. So if you're in the market trying to find a new foundation, I would recommend first to try the Makeup Forever Ultra High Definition. And then maybe if you want to try something a little bit with more coverage, trying the Born This Way. And on Born This Way, my color is Warm Nude. Love. The next item, I have been wanting to try this for so long. I mean, it's been a long time since I've been seeing this and I've wanted it so bad. And I finally picked it up, and for some reason, I it's just I thought it was gonna be more than what it was. So I picked up and I ran out of my um, Mac spray. So I figured Max Fix Plus spray, and I figured that I would replace it with this. And I miss my Max, my Mac Fix Plus, just because I feel like my Mac it was more just like a water, and it would. I don't know it just it was different it was very different so this is what this is is the Caldelie uh, Il de Botel or de Botte water um, I don't know I don't know if it says it promises to smoothing and glowing complexion I've used it a few times already it's okay I don't know I have to try it one more time I thought I was gonna like it more than what I like now so I will try it a few more times and if I don't like this then I'll probably take it back and try something else just because this didn't do what I it wasn't what I expected so there you go but this is a good one I think a lot of people like it maybe it's just me and then plus when I spray my face it burns a little bit and I don't know why and I'm I don't know so I guess you, you must try it and let me know if you guys if any of you guys watching this video have tried any of these items before and would like to share your thoughts with me go ahead and leave it on the comments below and as i would love to hear what you have to say and maybe give me tips before i return some of these items like what you think i'm missing maybe i should try applying it in a different way the next item that i picked up that i was really excited for was the hourglass um i love hourglass brand and this was the veal this is the mineral primer and this one actually has um, SPF 15. I love this. I suck at putting F SPF 15 daily um, or any SPF. Um, so anything that has, I know that it does sometimes send, like gives like a white cast on your makeup, but I do anytime that it, I can buy anything that already has a little bit of SPF, I take it just because it's good for you. We should all be, especially when you live in Miami where you have sun all year round and it's not like, just like a light sun, it's like beaming sun. So you do feel your skin getting tanned on a daily basis. But um, this item I picked up, I am excited that I bought this. Very happy that I did, except that I haven't worn it a lot just because I haven't tried it. I, I tried it a few times and like I said, I usually don't wear a ton of makeup to go to work. And when I do go out for the weekend and stuff, I haven't done anything too much for me to wear for a long period of time. So. If I'm not gonna be having, if I'm not gonna have my makeup on for more than two hours, then I just don't. I try to keep it as minimal as possible. So that's the only reason why. So maybe for the holidays, I think for like Christmas time, and now with all the parties, I will be trying this and this together, and then spray with this, and then I'll kind of try this with this and see, so I can come up with a better um, decision if I want to keep it, if I like it, if I don't like it. So. The next two items I was really excited to try, except that I'm okay with it if I wouldn't have tried, I, I don't know. And these are, I think they, they have a lot of hype, 
and um, it's a good hype because I think I don't know a lot of people like it I wanted to try to make a decision for myself and I'm okay with it these are the dose of color stone and truffle lips